I am not just a player. I am a businessman. I am not just a face. I am a strategist. My life is not just on the pitch. It is on the screen and in the keys beneath my fingers. I am building something fantastic. I am not just a footballer or a model. I am Johan Kabay and I am a football manager. Just one more game. Contacts. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you play? Everywhere. Lucas Biglia. He's great. <laughs> I played against him and I was laughing because I, I used to play with him and I didn't know who he was. Do you ever get annoyed as well? Like if someone's saying that like your long throw is not that good. Oh yeah, your long throw's gone <laughs> down from five to two. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. And your markings too. Yeah, that's that's normal. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because they can't go like minus two or minus three. <laughs> When you win, you want to keep winning, and yeah. you, you know. And when you you lose the game, no, I, I can't stop on the yeah, lose. Win yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why you keep playing, keep playing, and watch the time. Oh, two o'clock. No, I need to sleep now. Hello, and welcome to the Palace TV Football Manager Chat. I am joined by uh, Crystal Palace and France midfielder Johan Kabay, and my mate, actor, unemployed actor. Sorry. Yeah, ideas are pulled out. <laughs> Uh, and comedian Alex Carter. We're going to be talking all things football manager with the launch of the new game. We're in Café Rouge because Johan is French and because Alex had a two for one on Voucher Cloud. <laughs> Johan, how long have you been playing football manager for? Many years, many years. And the um, first, first game uh, was called Championship Manager. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, yeah. Probably oh, 16. Yeah, 97, 98 was the big one for me, Championship Manager 97, yeah. which was Championship Manager 2, I think. Exactly. So exactly. it's probably around the same time. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was simple back then, wasn't it? Um, and what is your greatest achievement on Football Manager? I won the Premier League with Newcastle two times in a row. Nice. Mm. Yeah. I once won the Champions League with Aldershot. I took them from League 2 all the way up. The Champions League, but I didn't win the Premier League. What about you, Alex? Wolves. Wolves won the European Cup. But that was quite a good achievement. They were in the Championship at the time, so yeah. Proud of that, yeah. And who are you playing with at the moment? Our team. So with Palace. I play with Palace. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, nice. I like to play with, with my team. When I finish with this, I play with uh, like the smallest team in France. In the lower league, yeah, I, I like that. I prefer, I prefer just to 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 build a, a good team. For example, uh, my brother's team in France, and I play with him. And what team is that? Wascal. That used to be like the best way to win the game. I always thought was just acquiring old Man United players and things like that. Yeah. Philip von Rijn. Can you remember him? No. Uh, well, he got, he got ordained as a vicar this week. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading about this guy that I've not heard about for like 20 years from Football Manager. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and where? Where do you play it? Everywhere. Yeah. Uh, well, now it's different because I've got some kids at home. So, if not uh, in a plane when we're traveling, the national team uh, at the hotel. Toilet. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we used to holiday together, and I used to hear Chris making uncomfortable noises in the bathroom. <laughs> I was always wondering what was going on. <laughs> yeah, we played it in India, didn't we? Yes. We used to play it as a pair. Okay. Yeah, we used to work. On the same laptop or? Uh, same one? laptop, yeah. we used okay. to work together okay. and we used to create this character called Bob. <laughs> that was really geeky, It's really yeah. sad. Bob Chilboy was a northern football manager. Yeah. Uh, he had a woolly hat. Yeah. Squashed his ears. The, the low light of my life is when we managed to, we were on holiday in India and we were in a beach hut and we managed to convince a single lady to come back to our beach hut <laughs> and we ended up just getting championship, well, football manager yeah, out, football wasn't manager. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She lost interest soon after. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, she left the heart and we won the Scottish League with yeah. Kilmarnock, yeah. so uh, we won. Do you ever do research? 
on players. Like I, I used to buy 442 magazine and look at the 50 best players in the Football League and then try and find them all. Really? Yeah. No. You're not that sad. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Has it ever happened where someone recommends a player to you in real life? Has that ever happened and you've investigated them on? No, but... You need to use some, your contacts. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes when I heard about a player now and I think, oh, I heard his name and uh, on Football Manager and I'm interested in what uh, he is doing on the pitch for in real life, you know? Yeah, yeah. Lucas Biglia. It's, Central he's midfielder. A, yeah, Argentinian. Yeah. yeah, he was great. <laughs> yeah, and I played against yeah. I played against him, and I was yeah I was uh, laughing because I, I used to play with him and I didn't know who he was and uh, so I was yeah I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not playing the game, yeah, do you ever find yourself thinking about the game? When I know we're gonna travel, I'm focused on my yeah on my game and on the laptop and uh, just wanna open it and play and uh, think. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to play like this, I have to do the set pieces and I have to do the tactics and the session and everything, so yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Now Alex, you haven't played it for a while, have you? No, because it just took over my life. Like I, was re I get really, really into it and I've not got a lot on at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I've not got much work on, so there's like a real danger that I'll just... I can't understand. Yeah, I used to have to break the disc and kind of delete it from a hard drive and give really? it away and yeah. Yeah. And you've got a baby coming out. I've got you? a baby on the way and I've just got married so I'm thinking I might have one last <laughs> four month period of just sitting in my just underpants. Be careful, man. be careful. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second part, the technical parts of the game. Okay, you start at a club, what's the first thing you do when you join the club as manager? Uh, watch the, the squad. First team. Reserve and even the uh, under uh, uh, 18, yep. yeah, or 19. Which player can be in the first team? Uh, which one is uh, really interesting about the future? I find where I have to to improve, uh, find a new player. Which position? Are you quite detailed because I I always have a different training routine for defenders. Yeah. Uh, fullbacks, central midfielders, mm -hmm. more fitness, uh, attacking wingers more flair, strikers, separate training for everyone? Uh, I used to start with uh, like a big fitness session for two weeks, two, yeah, two, two weeks and a half. Yeah, of course. They have, of course. They have, they have, they have <laughs> to be real. fit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have to be fit and they work hard. They work hard. Well, sometimes they, they, they are really unhappy. I have to do it. I have to do it. And then during the season, um, yeah, I like to, to do something for each player. And do you have a favourite formation that you like to 4-4-2. Four, four, really? 4-4-2. Mm. Oh. Four, four, Always? Always. Wow. Yeah. Home, away from home. Really? Because I used to do... You know, normally if you join a club and they're struggling, I have two defensive midfielders, try and get everything mm -hmm. secure at the back first, and then I always play slightly differently away from home, more counter-attack. Yeah, and then I, I changed. Yeah, I changed the like the mentality. Yeah. But it always four four two, always. And it works. Yeah. It's good. I might have to try that. Yeah. I've always gone for five in midfield, and then it's a bit cautious, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If you were Palace. Mm -hmm. What would Johan buy? What position would be? Box to box. Box to box. Yeah. Yeah, because on the game you're better at right in the centre on the halfway line as opposed to the sitting role. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I tried to play you there yesterday. And you, no. you went I from was, bright I green to shit. dark yeah. green. Yeah. It was a new release. But I always try to, to keep the ball, play, play out from the back. So the keeper, the distribution keeper has to go to the both centre back. Just like Palace? Yeah. And your staff. Do you change your staff a lot when you get there? Yeah. I try to get like five, four, no, not five star because it's difficult, but yeah. uh, like uh, three and a half or four stars. Oh yeah, on the, 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 yeah, the coaching yeah. page, yeah. yeah. So I try to share the workout equally. Mm. I need to listen more for my, my staff, my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever, I always found I used to buy an ex, get an ex-player in as my assistant, like Paul Scholes yeah. and Teddy Sheringham. Mm. Uh, I always seem to help with morale. Yeah. 
seem to sort of help me play as many. And it made me feel good about myself. Yeah. <laughs> Attracting someone of that yeah. quality. Yeah. Teddy, do this to me. <laughs> Take the reserves. <laughs> Doing that. Yeah, yeah. In this part, we're going to talk about the mental side of the game, of, of the manager within the game, so press conferences. What are you like in press conferences? Uh, sometimes it's important to give players confidence or put the, the other manager or the team under pressure. They have to, to win it because they, they're better than us or something like this. And, but I like to get the pressure on me. For example, if someone gets sent off or uh, didn't play well and they get criticised, uh, I always uh, get the, the, um, the things and the bad things on me. Is that how you like to be managed? As a player, is that how you'd respond to your manager? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I want, on oh, the game, I want my, my players to, to play football. So pass, touch and move, pass, 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 and keep the ball. And sometimes they make mistakes, but that's uh, normal. Everyone yeah. makes mistakes. And uh, just want the, like the fans and everyone knows that it's from me. I ask them to play and uh, if they make mistakes, no worries, they're going to play next game. I always found with press conferences that you, you don't click what you really want, but you click what you think, oh, the game, that'll work in the game, the game will believe me on that and then that will happen. And then I figured that's actually exactly what happens in real life. When managers talk at press conferences, they don't say what they're really thinking, they say what they know is the right thing which is why the game's so good. <laughs> yeah. Do you have your own press conferences? I do that mine on the toilet again. I used to sort of, yeah. You spend a lot of time, I spend on, the a lot of time on the toilet. <laughs> but you know where I go in and I used to like talk about my team, my fictional team. Is that just me that does that? I used to like go in and like talk properly, have conversations. Yeah, no, just you. Is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> you had a bad temperament though, didn't you? Because we once, we played as Bolton Wanderers, didn't we? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we had Bruno and Gotti. Yeah. And I remember he did something wrong and it was when you used to be able to find them and it, you'd have to give a reason but there was the option for no reason and you went, find him, no reason, let him figure it out. Yeah. He didn't figure it out, he asked for a transfer and then yeah. didn't come into training for two weeks. The game wasn't as advanced as I thought at that time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how realistic is the game to real life? For me, almost the same thing as the real life. But everything is just crazy how they improve uh, even the small things but you, you can feel it and you can say ah oh, yeah that's good that's fantastic that it's crazy how many players play with that game you can't imagine in France last summer half 50% of the team was playing wow, yeah. The Euros. Yeah. who's the best Oh, uh, Griezmann. Griezmann is good. It's Freddie really Guarin, good. Colombian. Fre yeah. Freddie yeah, Guarin, defensive midfielder. Yeah, yeah. He was brilliant. Yeah. You played against him in real life? Yeah, in France. Before that, I, uh, I knew him with a football manager also. <laughs> yeah. Freddie Adu as well, another Freddie. Freddie. Oh, yeah. He was supposed to be. Poor Freddie. Oh, Freddie. <laughs> Marco Verratti. Oh, I, really? knew him, I knew him with. Uh, with football manager before. That's why the game is just crazy. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah.